inside the model here we can add a few things we can add some um, annotation here as some attributes and those attributes are going to help us uh, make sure that the data that we're submitting is correct uh, we have date type data type dot date and that will help um, create the correct control for it because right now we're simply typing it by hand and then we're saying that the author is required and we're gonna say that the title is required you can't submit without those two and let's go ahead and build the solution and let's see if that looks a little bit better actually no that doesn't so let's go ahead and do this let's go ahead and change this from text box to editor for and let's go ahead and run this on Google Chrome and when we add new book here now we have the drop down yeah it doesn't seem to work with Internet Explorer so let's say um, author name um, some some name here the title Microsoft and we just pick uh, a couple months ago submit and now it shows in here um, our data uh, we can try to add a new book let's go ahead and pick a date click submit and we had an error and it's the same error we had before okay so this is not actually a collection it's supposed to be a collection not uh, it's gonna be books equal this and now we should be better okay let's try that one more time and add a book, some book, some book, publisher, submit, Is that another book, and now we have both books in here. Um, one thing that we added earlier um, was the uh, requirements in here. So let's go ahead and change this to show our validation, HTML that validate summary and in the home controller let's wrap this with the if statement I'm just gonna press control KS if then I'm gonna say model state dot is that is valid if it is valid then let's go ahead and send that model to the index but if it's not then we're going to return to the same view that we are in the form and that should display some validation problems so go ahead and click uh, what am I forgetting here there's an additional in there okay so let's add a book and then if we try to submit like this it's going to do a validation on it saying the author name field is required the title the title is required and also a publisher date is required so I'm gonna fix this put today's date click submit and now it's telling me that I need an author submit and now it's telling me that I need a title and now I can go ahead and actually submit that information um, because I didn't completely close the browser it uh, it kept the session open and so I still have the information from the previous session so that was a bit rough going, but um, I hope you understood how this uh, whole thing works. Um, if you have any questions, please go to the Google Plus community at, in the link of this video, and that's the best place to put questions. 
Um, a lot of times when you post questions on YouTube, it's really difficult to answer. It's difficult to follow. So please join the community. There's a lot of good people in there. Um, we had a pretty big Facebook community going, but uh, I moved to Google Plus, and we have 300 plus at the moment. Um, and um, please join us and uh, help us grow the community to make um, um, to bring programmers together for questions and answers. Uh, thank you for watching the series. Uh, stay tuned for the next series.